Pause now, 10 seconds for station identification on the Lakers Basketball Network. You can watch Shaq and Kobe on TV, but you can only hear Chicken Stew right here on AM570 KLAC, Los Angeles. Since the Lakers grabbed a nine-point lead with 335 left to play in the first half, the Lakers have dominated the game, building up 11-point leads twice in this period. And now they're... Um, Ahead by just nine, 66-57. Let me tell you how potent the Lakers are. You don't know how or where they're going to hurt you. In the first half, the Lakers' Shaquille O'Neal had 13 field goal attempts and route to 17 points. Uh, third quarter, he's only taken one shot, Chick. Well, in the first half, they led by four. Yeah. Third quarter, he's only taken one shot. Remember that offensive rebound he put back in? Yeah. That was his only shot, and the lead has gone up to nine. So that's where the Lakers can hurt you. You just never know where it's coming from. Kobe started this quarter just two out of 12 from the field but he's made three out of four field goals Kobe has in his last four minutes. That's what I'm talking about. You never know which uh, barrel of the gun it's coming from. <laughs> but it's coming. Yep. Both teams come out too early. The referee's chasing them back to the respective benches. Well, it's been a good year for both teams, particularly the Lakers. They did not play well through the end of the year, through December. Didn't play explicitly well in January, but they got going then. <laughs> did they ever? <laughs> when Fish came back, it just seemed like it turned it all around. They all came together. What are they since? Since Fish has been back, I believe they are 29 and 6. That's about right. That's about right. That's incredible. Including, obviously, the playoffs and everything. Ball out of bounds, baseline to Grant. If we ever get the goal sign from the guys you know that run the show. Waiting for the ball to come in, and it comes in to Fisher. Iverson guarding him, but not closely. Iverson looks like he's running three-legged. I didn't say three, I said free. Now the ball to Grant, and Grant's got the ball. Looks for Fox, gives it to him, they knock it loose, Fox digs it off the floor. Fox dribble to the right side with eight on the clock. Now they're getting in trouble to Kobe. Kobe to the dribble, go to the base, underneath, throws the ball to Grant, Grant puts it up to be fouled. They'll probably pick Geiger unless how, he's the biggest one around it. How did Kobe find somebody to pass that ball to? He goes baseline, Chick, and all of a sudden he's collapsed upon by like three players, and somehow he gets the ball to Horace Grant. Yep. So Grant at the free throw line. Yeah, that's the kind of foul, too, Chick, that makes coaches go crazy. There was only one second left on the shot clock. Free throw and no good by Grant. That's the second one in a row he's missed. Grant, this year, averaged 78%. His career was only 72, but this year he had a good free-throwing year. Makes the second one, and the Laker lead is 10, 67-57. Did you tell me the biggest lead was 11? Uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. 11. Now the ball goes over to the far sideline to McKee, and McKee has it knocked away and out of bounds by Fox. That Fox is playing some basketball, Stu, at both ends. Yeah, that's he's a bulldog, man. He and Derek Fisher, they, they really get after you. I mean, all the Lakers do, but especially those two. He's got uh, 13 points in the ball game, guarding a tough player, McKee. Ball will be brought in and out in front to Geiger. Geiger holds it, gives back to McKee. Geiger been with another number of teams. McKee dribbling down the middle in deep. Plays it off to who? Nobody. And nobody is right. You know why? Horace Grant closed the passing lane to Geiger and uh, Aaron McKee had to take it out of bounds. He was committed. Here we go. Down the floor with the ball. Fish. Six minutes left to play in the third quarter. They bring it over to Fisher. He looks for Shaq inside. He goes into Shaq. A lot of pushing and shoving. Bouncing. Shot on the way. Traveling. Wow. Must have, uh, what you call it, the bunny hop? Bunny hop in the pea patch. Turnover is five apiece. Boy, that is pretty good at this stage of the game like this. 5.49 to play. Lakers lead by 10. 
the two big centers getting ready to pair off against each other as we get the ball in the front court in the possession of Eric Snow. Snow was the starter tonight. The ball comes over to Iverson. He fires. It's on the way. It's good for three. Iverson gets his 24th point. I told you, he might have limped at halftime, but he's moving pretty well right now. 67 to 60. The Lakers lead it by seven. Ball goes in low to Shaquille O'Neal. Backing in. Pass Bracken and knocked out of bounds. Not a good pass by Shaq. It'll go out of bounds to the Lakers, however. Well, eight seconds on the shot clock. Handling the ball out of bounds will be Foxy. 5.16 to play in the third quarter. The fronting Shaq with Matumbo. Now the ball comes in low to Shaq. Matumbo goes behind him. They give it out to Fox. Fox hasn't got any Fox. room. No, he doesn't know, and it's too late. 24 expired. When you take the ball out of bounds, I've said it a million times, you always look at the clock. Every time the ball is dead, you look at the shot clock. That should never happen. You should always know the clock. Two straight turnovers for the Lakers. Only their sixth of the game, however. And here once more, we've got Snow with the ball. No dribbling the ball. The Laker coach up screaming at the referees about an infraction in the lane. Iverson dribbling the ball against Fisher. He just ripped him for a three. He tries a two. And he got it. A two-pointer. Nice shot. Nothing but net. That little guy's something, isn't he? Yeah, he's 67, so dangerous. 62, and he's got 26 points in this quarter. He's made three baskets in a row. Rebound is off after a Laker miss. Shaq gets it, and it's going to be a foul. Uh, Shaq definitely shuffled his feet that time. Now we got some jawing. Geiger, Geiger. Geiger's the one that's jawing. We got a T. I don't know if it's double It'll T be, or not. It's always a double T. I would think. Geiger and Shaq have never gotten along well. Each of them get a T, which means only there'll be no free throw Shaq. But I believe there probably was a two-shot foul that well, started all of it. No, Shaq will go to the line. Who's out of fouls? Both teams. Well, Shaq will go yeah. to the line. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. 437 to play in the third. This might get a little rough before it's over. He's made three out of six free throws. Three out of seven. Ed Padubinskis who teaches him isn't going to like this performance of free throwing. Missed them both. When he misses them both, it's only a five-point ball game. This could get very, very tender. 67-62 the score. The Lakers have given up five straight points to Iverson. Iverson shot blocked by Fisher, taken out of the air by Grant. Grant gives the ball to Fox. Nice block by Fisher. In low to Shaq. Turns, comes underneath, puts it in. Basket counts, foul. Going to get a tee on Snow if you're not careful. And Snow is the last guy in the world you think get a tee. The foul is not on him either. The foul is on the big man, Matumbo. Matumbo picks up his second foul on the play. And Shaq didn't make any secrets about what he was going to do yeah. this time. He made a drop step and got some contact. Get the hoop. Shaq at the line, looking for his 22nd point. That's good. And the Laker lead is 70 to 62. We got 4-10 left to play, and timeout is called. Coming down the floor, the possession, of course, indicates the timeout call by Philly. Well, 4-10 to play, and uh, the Sixers are down by 8. See if the Lakers can get back out of this timeout and establish momentum again on the World Champion Lakers Basketball Network. Welcome to Miller Genuine Drafts Blind Tracks. Unreleased songs by undisclosed artists. Mystery band, the stage is yours. 